going on everyone Ains here season gaming back with a new product i want to talk to you about and it's actually one of the most exciting products i've used in some time so a few weeks ago just before the holiday i was sent this it's called the shrimp mechanical keyboard compact mechanical keyboard it is made by nordic game supply out of denmark uh, which is also part of thunderful games and they're basically sending these out to, you know, various people like us, outlets, channels to test out as they prepare for launch of this product um, and getting feedback and things like that. So I've been using this for a little while now and I'm going to uh, break all the details down for you. But I've been very, very impressed with this. And I think that if you are someone who not only games on PC, but travels, uh, goes to events, goes to, you know, cons and all those other things, coverage, PAX, E3, etc. Uh, this could be very, very helpful for you. So let me reconfigure the camera here. I'll talk about all the details and give you a closer look at why I've been so impressed with this piece. All right, so here's the shrimp keyboard box as I just showed you. Flip it over, gives you all the details. Some of the keys, 20% size of a normal keyboard, obviously space saver, easy to travel with, etc., etc. But you don't wanna look at the box, right? So here's what comes in the box and i must say it was neatly packaged obviously you get your user manual the unit itself which i'll put here the wrist pad which is actually magnetic here so it just goes boom and clicks together which is really nice you get a nice travel bag and it's actually really nice quality it's kind of like a, a velour suede i don't know what material that is but it's nice and, and thick and padded and then you get your braided USB cable. I've been using a longer one, but this is the one that comes in the box. Um, <clears throat> so there's a lot of things to break down on this, but let me talk about the actual features as it designated by Nordic Game Supply. So it is a 25 key, 20% 20 size keyboard. It has Gateron G Pro mechanical switches. It has Cherry profile keycaps, has RGB illumination, multimedia controls it runs on usb-c here and it also has other things like fn functions so it has secondary functions on a lot of keys that you can use it's got uh, sound dampening so instead of your standard mechanical clickety clickety this is more of a padded quieter sound which i really really like <clears throat> the wrist pad is a uh, kind of gel it says eat sleep game over and over again and it's a nice size so when you're sitting there gaming like this it's not only comfortable, but the angle is nice. It just, it's very ergonomic. Um, and I, you know, I just really enjoyed kind of the uh, making it easy. Uh, it doesn't take a lot, of, a lot of space on your desk. Gives you more room to, you know, kind of adjust your mouse. So you don't normally have to have your mouse over here away from your keyboard. If you want to move it closer and play like this, you can. The other thing I really like about this is just build quality. Um, <clears throat> one of the big things for me when you talk about peripherals, especially in gaming, is build quality. Does it feel well made? Does it feel well constructed? Is it going to last? Is it gonna take all the ab abuse that us gamers give through years? And what I like about this is it's really solid. It's heavier than I expected it to be for this little unit here. So it's got some weight to it. Like I said, the magnetic clip on here is nice. You can obviously adjust it a little bit if you want to, you know, depending on the angle. Um, but it's just really well made. Very nice action on the keys. These switches are very professional. Um, this is a mute button here. So if you need to mute your mic quickly, you can just tap it. Um, it's just, it's just nice. It's just a nice product. If I have one small complaint, which I'm gonna provide feedback to uh, Nordic Game Supply on, it's that currently there's no adjustability in height. So as you can see, there's four padded feet here, like I said, a nice weight. And generally speaking, I like the angle as it is. I don't have any problems with the angle, but I know for a lot of people, they do adjust their keyboard at various different angles. You know, they may want to do something like this and you just don't have that option today. Obviously I can put something under here and rest it if I wanted to, but generally speaking, it'd be nice if there was some kind of uh, adjustable height at the back of this that you could put. So there is not a lot to cover here in terms of what I can show you. Obviously I'm not gonna have you sit here looking at my hand pressing keys while I'm playing a game. Um, I will plug it in here so that you can see kind of the, the way it lights up and the RGB stuff. Um, I've had no problems with this in terms of a usability standpoint. 
Um, it's performed well. On PC, you know, I do most of my gaming on console, but on PC, I like to play games, for instance, like World of Tanks. And if you've played World of Tanks on PC, you, one, know how ridiculously competitive it can be, but also how precise it is um, and how quick you have to be and how, you know, like I said, it's just a very competitive, detailed game. Um, and I had no problems with this whatsoever using this. I just, it, it fit kind of everything I was attempting to do. And like I said, they're full size keys. They're not anything compact keys. Um, it just, everything works well. I don't really know what else to say about it. I, um, I'll go ahead and switch over. Let's go ahead and switch so I can show you what this looks like plugged in. So let's go ahead and do that. All right, so currently plugged into my PC. And like I said, there's a lot of secondary functions here. So if you use the FN key, you can turn on your RGB. And as you can see, it can alternate through a number of different things. You can flip through cycles where it's all colors, a single color, you know, faster, slower, your typical kind of RGB implementation. Um, but it's, uh, you know, again, it's, it's just one of those things that, as you can see, it looks really cool. Um, it's just, you know, for fun, customization, that's about all. Um, <clears throat> Like I said, there's really not too much else to say on it per se. The uh, LED brightness can be controlled here, so you can turn it up or down, you know, depending on the kind of environment you're in and what you'd like to see. You can also click these buttons in, so you can do it like that and have it switch back and forth. Uh, you also have this control here. This is your audio volume, so if you're, you know, if you want to turn up your mic or anything like that, you have this here. <clears throat> It can also, if you push this, it'll open your multimedia software on your actual PC. So if you've got it configured through streaming or OBS or what have you, where you're using different things, you can click this, uh, open and close that. And then there's your auto mute. So if you just want a rapid mute without touching your headset, you can do that, like I said. So, um, <clears throat> you know, there's your, your color variations and all your different things. So that's really it as you can imagine it's pretty straightforward all of us have gamed you've used a keyboard you've you know if you're a content creator you've used mechanical keyboards and things like this uh, before so no surprises but i would again just like to compliment uh nordic game supply on what they've built here it'll be very very easy to travel with if you unplug this here magnetize here you take this off you slide it right in your shrimp bag to take with you um, you can put the, the padded part on top, which is what I was typically, typically doing. You put your USB-C that it came with and there you go. You're good to go and travel. And that is, as you can imagine, when you're going to uh, events and things, that's a, a lot easier package to travel with with your mouse than say a full-size mechanical keyboard. Um, and generally speaking, because of the 25 key setup and the FN function, secondary function, um, it's going to be very easy to, to play most games with that as well. So. I don't really have anything further to add. The, the only last thing I would say is at this point in time, because um, it hasn't gone to official retail launch yet, they haven't given me a price point. So it was not uh, in the press release yet. And I think they're still kind of working out what that looks like. The other thing to, to be aware of, which is kind of neat, is they're working with companies on customization. So on your screen, as I'm talking right now, I'm gonna put up some images for you, but there's gonna be variations of colors and you know, licensing and brands and other things gonna work with this. So this is the number one model called the monochrome where it's just gray, black, and white. But as you can see, there's other colors. They've already kind of demoed a crossover with Grand Theft Auto V, a crossover with um, artist Paul Frank. And so who knows what else is coming, but I think part of their gameplay here for the future is customization and being able to kind of like have different models of the shrimp depending on what game you like, what game you play, etc. So. That's about it. Uh, I wanna thank Nordic Game Supply for sending this over. As always, we don't do paid promotions here, but I have to let you know they did send this for me to test. Um, but as always, I give you the honest opinion. If you've watched the channel for a while, you know you know I've uh, reviewed some products that uh, you know haven't been up to the task, but this one has been. I've been very pleased with it. If you have any further questions about this that I can answer, I'm happy to, to do so. Just please leave me a comment. Otherwise, as always, I thank you for tuning in to Season Gaming. And uh, as always, stay tuned for more uh, podcast roundtables and further features in the near future. Cheers.